Alrighty, hello there everyone, welcome back. You're basically picking up right now with uh, Future Cauldron again. Uh, just as a reminder, I, I, I kind of apologize again uh, that the uh, episodes right now are kind of in a little bit of a weird spot because I got a little overexcited and uh, recorded for uh, nearly four hours last time when I normally record for between uh, one and two hours to get these uh, episodes to you all. So, um, yeah, today you're in a, in a way getting part two of last week's episode and, uh, we'll be basically picking right up where we left off, um, after our, uh, big resource gathering mission, uh, uh exploring some of the, um, kind of area uh, above the, um, the ladder over in the upper yard, uh, kind of behind the stump. Um, and, uh, now with all those resources, um, we should have some fun stuff that we'll be able to do here in the rest of today's episode. Um, so without further ado, might be a little bit of an abrupt transition here, and I do apologize for that, but I will now throw things back to uh, past Cauldron, and, uh, we will carry things on, uh, from last week's episode. I am ready to get back to a bit more... Uh, building and decorating, um, and uh, I I really hope we can get up to cozy level three, um, especially knowing um, some of the little uh, tips and tricks I guess um, of kind of knowing what uh, what can help with coziness um, a bit more. Um, but first things first, um, I, uh, I think I mentioned it earlier, uh, it, unless it got cut out because I have been doing a really long, uh, a really long time of resource gathering. Um, I have a couple things scattered around in here, it might take me a second to find them, uh, that we still actually need to take to a resource analyzer. So here's one of them, we've got bug rubber. Um, and I think another was actually some kind of bug part. Uh, oh, it was a spider part. Yeah, we have brood mother venom that we actually never analyzed. I don't think we're gonna come up with any recipes that we don't already have, uh, with that venom, but it does not hurt, uh, to go ahead and take it. I, I honestly think that those were the only two, uh, only two that were outstanding. I'm gonna go ahead and get even more repair glue uh, going, but uh, yeah, let's go uh, go ahead and analyze these and we'll uh, cash in our milk molars as well. All right, field station, here we are. Resource analyzer, not something we get to use a whole lot anymore. Uh, let's go ahead and start with a broodmother venom. And, oh, we actually did get stuff. Chest of the Mother Demon and Greaves of the Mother Demon. That is new. Um, and maybe this didn't used to be something we could analyze, and that's why that just showed up. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the Broodmother didn't used to give a full set of armor, and I think I even mentioned after we fought the Mantis that I was hoping that they would change that. Um, and it looks like they did. Uh... Bug rubber is just something we never bothered to make, and it looks like that was not blocking any recipes, so that is good. Um, that's actually really cool that there's more brood mother armor now. Um, I was not expecting that. Alrighty, also while we are over here by this big old tire, um, I'm gonna see if I can pop in. Yeah. Um, I believe this is actually where we needed that key. Uh, it's at least where we did have a locked chest. Um, so we're going to see. So, yep, sticky key. That is indeed the one we wanted. Oh, two milk molars in here. And it looks like there is some kind of a recipe card. I'm going to try to snag it real quick. Water logged recipe. Uh, for, oh, for bomb arrows, uh, that could potentially be really nice. I wonder if that would actually be nice to use against uh, the wasp drone. Um, 
So luckily the uh, the wasps don't seem to respawn terribly often. Um, but, uh, <laughs> I had, I had them respawn on me, uh, like where they kind of <laughs> seemingly guard my zip line, um, that goes between, uh, our base and, and Burgle, uh, at the, uh, at the oak tree. Um, they respawned on me in a really inconvenient time. Um, but I, I ended up, uh, I was trying to fight them and the drone in particular, is just annoying um not because it's like the hardest thing in the world to like take on um but it just like sometimes decides it's done fighting and then because it heals itself even if you re-aggro it immediately it's like already back to full health um and so like, just shooting it with arrows, it's hard to take down because it's healing between every shot, and it, it's really good at dodging, uh, dodging your shots, too. Um, uh, but yeah, like, like, sometimes you'll, like, you'll try to pull aggro on it by, like, shooting it with a couple of arrows, and then it'll just fly away, heal itself, and not come back. And I'm like, I, I need to get rid of you so my zipline path is clear, and it just kind of refuses to cooperate. Um, so, uh, that's been a kind of an interesting conundrum. Uh, so yeah, I'm curious if those bomb arrows might, uh, might help with that. Um, we will, we'll have to see at some point. Uh, wait, red, wait, are we full? Oh my gosh. Yeah, so as I was saying about, uh, I wish that these guys could be used into glue, like, I don't know what to do with all these ant parts. What the heck? Oh, that's the glue masher. Gosh, I thought a bug was making that noise. Um, okay. And then the venom can go back in there, and my bug rubber can go back in there. Cool. So... The, the chopping list, clay and peblet, do I? Oh, <laughs> that's from way over at our old base. Uh, that I still have some blueprints placed. That's hilarious. Uh, okay. So, for our house, we still need to decorate some things. It does not look like, this was, this was something I was curious about. It does not look like these show a coziness level in this kind of build menu. We'll have to refer to uh, the other crafting menu to see an individual item's coziness. Um, so, uh, this is gonna be a really cool light source, I think. Um, oh my gosh, it's pretty big too. So that's the standing and the sitting. Okay, so the sitting is much more Doable. What do you cost? Um, oh, a bunch of coal and clay. Um, very, very cool. Um, so maybe we'll put some of those like on the porch even. Um, I'd obviously, because I've been, tr so, <laughs> Maybe not, obviously. I've been trying to uh, just keep churning out ash um, because I do still have another project in mind uh, that's going to be our big armor haul slash bug trophy haul. Um, and I'm probably going to be using ash for that building, um, I think, at least the, the bulk of that. Um, so we're going to need a lot for that. And I also want to make sure that we have ash built up uh, for... Um, defending, uh, the, uh, those things that keep throwing our exclamation points wherever we go. Um, I think some splinter traps would be a good idea, um, to help add some defense, and, uh, those require ash cement. Um, so, that's part of surely why I was also grabbing splinters, um, and some lint. So we have the lint being spun into rope right now in our sewing uh, 
sewing house. We have some cement actually uh, in all of our furnaces uh, in our little forge building. So uh, that is going on there. Um, so I basically, all of that is to say, I don't have any coal to spare. Um, so if I wanted these guys on the porch, I'm stuck. Um, I mean, that would probably be the more effective one if I don't want anything else on the porch, which I don't know that I need anything else on the porch. It might look a little funny to have that under a roof. Um, but we can also, even once it's built, uh, move it out in front of the house. But I think that's going to look really impressive. Uh, so we won't be building that right away because I don't have any char, uh, charcoal, ever charcoal. Um, but I like that idea. Uh, we should start filling out this main space. Oh yeah, we also have the gong. Uh, what do we need? Green shield bug parts. I think I still have some. Uh, Pinecone, black ox, sap, and lint. We actually do have enough for that. Oh my, that is substantial. Um, I bet that that makes noise when we hit it. Like that it's actually going to be f a, a functional gong. Um, okay, we, we, I, I think that we're, we're going to need to build that somewhere. Um, porch doesn't really make sense. Yeah, if we, all right, uh, had to keep dealing with, uh, some ant problems there, but, um, yeah, I do like, I, I would love to build like our gong outside. The problem is like right here is where it would be the most level, which looks good. Um, but the only problem is then that we start blocking our mant brazier uh, here on the porch, uh, which is definitely unfortunate. But if I were to like Move this guy. Whoa, not not the the wall. If I were to move this guy out here, we're gonna have. Oh, he actually does stay level. So maybe maybe we just uh, move. We have one of them outside to light things up, and then we could have the gong on the other side, and it's just like that and then we could have fun things inside so cool that'll that'll take care of the uh the inside there um but what else do we want to try to get built here um we definitely need some more furniture um a table would be nice now is there a better table to use. Um, okay, good. Both of those coziness is actually the same. And I think still like being outside the house, I think it will help. Um, but anyway, table. Grass table versus clover table looks about the same. So I think just to maybe not take up quite so much space, we could put a clover table in here. Um, well, tentatively, we'll, we'll plan on that. Um, da, 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 da. uh, we could put some mounts on the wall. Uh, one thing that I thought was interesting about, uh, the various head mounts was, um, they're all basically the same amount of, um, coziness, except for the boss head mounts. So, if we wanted to put one of the boss head mounts on a wall, those will help us out more than any other head mount. Um, so like the Broodmother or Orchid Manus also just like, I think the Broodmother would be more impressive. We also don't have many Orchid Manus parts. Um, 
So maybe that'll be the way to go. We also did beat the Brood Mother, what, like five times whenever we were doing that fight. So we should have a good amount of parts to be able to spare. Um, so let's consider that. Oh my gosh, it is so large. Um, what about, how about over the door? Yeah, yeah, over the door would be good. Here, it just wouldn't quite work because, like, we almost have, like, this little arch kind of dividing the room a bit. Um, okay, stuffed bugs are also pretty good. Um, they are, I think, a little better than head mounts, which makes sense. You're doing more of a bug. So we could look into that. Um... But let's see, is there any other kind of equipment we want to throw in here? Now, again, if we're trying to make this like a nice homey area, I'm actually okay if we wanted to put like another cookery in here. Um, just to be like, oh, it's the kitchen. Uh, so like if we said like, boom, that's the kitchen. The cookery actually does do a decent amount of coziness. Um... So, that could be an option. Um, okay, it looks like the gong does about the same as those um, mant braziers. What else could we do in here? Um, uh, oh, the koi scale chair. Um, yeah, so that'll be definitely too big to, like, keep at the table, but we could just kind of keep one in a corner. Um. And then, are there any other, like, production things we would maybe want to keep in the house? Um. I mean, I suppose if... We're going to be doing a, uh, a cookery. We may as well do a workbench. Um, I guess I'll start out with them side by side. Um, and that can just be kind of like our little cooking area. Um, and that would definitely help. Um, ooh, and a fresh storage could be kind of nice. Here, let's, uh, we're just gonna throw some of this stuff down and we'll rearrange as we go. Uh, I don't think we'll worry about an oven. That doesn't quite feel like it would fit in with the house vibe. Um, none of those other things really do. We could put more storage in here if we need to. Um, outside, this is actually something we could put on the porch, maybe. Um, is we could put the, uh, the, the, the nice pallets. Um, how big are you? Okay, maybe that is not going to go on the porch. Um, but I would like to make them. So, let's at least put them nearby, we'll get them made, and we can, uh, we'll rearrange later. Because these are going to hold so much more. Um, uh, okay, so that was the stem palette that we got. And we need a blank palette. Those are going to be so much nicer than all of our, uh, little tiny palettes that we have. Okay, okay. Let's see. Anything else that catches the eye? Um. I guess yeah, let's let's get our our table back in here. You know what? Maybe we do. A... a regular... 
regular... Not a regular table, a, uh... A, a square table, a square table, bleh. And, um... Let's see, I know that we had issues placing chairs near a table in our little cafe. Oh, oh. Honestly, we'll just have it like that, like it's kind of ready to, like, pull into the table. And because it's just, <laughs> it's just me, we don't need multiple... Uh, multiple chairs at the moment. So I think maybe for the workbench, let's rotate it over to here and let's put the fridge right there. I know we're blocking the window just a touch, but I think that that layout is going to look nice. And then is there anything we can kind of stick back in that corner that would make sense? Um, again, this is where I wish I had like a floor lamp that wasn't just the plant lamp that's kind of ugly. Um, but maybe we'll maybe we'll get one over time. Can you just go away, please? Uh, here, we'll just come in here. Um, alright, well, over in, uh, this section, once he goes away, uh, is there anything else we need to add to our room? Uh, oh, we never did actually get the candles made. Um, either of these are, like, just as good uh, coziness wise. Um, so let's do like ant candle in here. I'll do one candle and then let's do, I'll do a big old spider candle in here. And I definitely, I, I would love some more lighting options still uh, for some better looking wall mounted lights. Um, but yeah, I think that might do it for laying this stuff out. I, I guess I can actually <laughs> sleep so you guys can see better. Speaking of lighting. Um, There we go. Make all this a little bit more, uh, a little bit more visible. Um, but yeah, I don't think we'll like crowd this space really with too much stuff. Um, but yeah, I kind of like the idea of like, look, we've got a little kitchen space. Um, and you know what? Maybe to not block the window as much. We're going to rearrange just a bit and I'll see if I like this. We could throw that right there. I guess we could even leave kind of a gap and stick this here. I wouldn't even be opposed to us putting up another wall. Even if it's just like a little half wall and uh, putting that there, and so that this is just kind of like our whole little kitchen area like this. Um, I think that that would be acceptable. Okay, I this, this is one thing I wish that they would change, is I don't like that bugs can see you through uh, wooden uh, or stem structures, because uh, that it aggros you and keeps you from doing stuff. I have that same problem in our little like tower section of the, um, uh, our storage building and it drives me a bit crazy. Um, 
But yeah. Uh, yeah, let's, uh... Let's maybe go with that. We could even put a... I know I need to just start grabbing materials and seeing how all this will look. Oh, yeah, 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 here. Let's... We can extend our... Let's try to straighten this out a bit more. I think I'm just a bit off. Do that, and then we kind of have like a little nook like that, and we could put a nice decoration right there. Or I guess if we're trying to maximize coziness, we could make it a, uh, a mount of some sort. Uh, what looks good? Um, I mean, that would be kind of appropriate given how many, uh, of those bugs we get running around. Just put a, a fire ant, uh, fire soldier ant there. Um, a scarab would look cool, but I don't want to kind of, in a sense, waste a scarab. Um... But, you know, maybe in the kitchen space, throwing a bug head on the wall just isn't the way to go. So, let's, yeah, let's just stick with a sign. And because it just does so much for our coziness, we are going to do a holiday tree right here. Um, I like that. And then if we, if we, whoops, if we really want to, we could maybe put a couple more head mounts on either side of the broodmother one. Um, so I think I like that. Uh, let's get started with all of that. Um, maybe even we do like this one like this under here. I don't know. We'll leave it like that for now. Maybe we even Maybe we just cancel that one, honestly. I, I think it's fine. All right, can I chuck these out the window? I can! Haha, <laughs> I know I just damaged that, but whatever. Um, and uh, do I want... This would be the last thing before I go grab materials and try to get this all in place. Um, do I want to throw a... Yeah, that's what I want. A little... A little half wall right there just to kind of do something with that space to make it feel a bit like it's separated I don't know maybe we'll do it and we'll see how it feels because I think that might be kind of nice We're getting real close. I think, like, at this point, almost anything that I finish, I feel like, could push me over. So, I'm, uh... I'm getting excited here. Oh, oh! There we go! Very cozy. Very cozy. Boy Scout shelf, trash can, hot tub, gum partition, bunk beds, and then crow versions of the awnings. Well, there we go. Apparently, we just needed to back up into the bedroom a bit, and uh, we got what we needed. Oh, and can I light that? Yeah, there we go. Get our ant candle lit. Excellent. We can also turn that on. There we go. Get a little bit of light in here. Um. Excellent. Well, I still want to try to get the last little bit of this. Oh, we need to actually decide what our uh, kitchen uh, image is going to be. Um, 
I mean, something food themed would be appropriate, like a billy hog, uh, muscle sprout. That'd be kind of funny. Um, let's go with a billy hog, I think. Um, Oh my goodness, everybody! And then, I think at some point, I might try to put up something of some fences and barriers around the place. I know my my biggest mistake in this uh, particular base location is that food spawn. It is what causes the problems. Like, that is what brings the ants here. Um, so maybe if I, maybe if I at least, like, chop, oh, this requires busting to him, thinking of the donut. Um, maybe if I at least, like, harvest this for now, that'll slow him down for the moment, but, um, uh, we, we can hope, but, um, alright, no food for you ants, now go away. There we go. Um, I did get my new, uh, pallets built, um, kinda, kinda curious to, uh, wait, did I, uh, yeah, put that one on, uh, <gasps> we can hold 15 things and I'm not even using ant armor! Let me use my pallets! I think there still actually might be part of the cookie under- yeah. Right. Right there. There we go. Okay, now there's no food so the ants can go away. But like... This, uh... This stuff should hold, like, way more material, um, as far as I know. Plus, it looks so much better, and it's got cute little aphids and weevils. Like, that's just the best. Um, okay. So, also, apparently I did not have green shield bug parts, uh, so we're gonna have to go deal with that. What did I need still here? Um, a bunch of weed stems. Um... Acid glands and boiling glands. Uh, is that the last thing I have to build, actually? Um, those two I can ignore. Acid, boiling, weed stem, and those two are for the stuff outside. Absolutely it is. So, my game has been, like, glitchy lately, and the, uh, my burr weeds, like, I think are here, but not showing up. Like, I can run into them, if I remember where they are. But, they're not here. I was at least having that issue earlier. Um, like, wait, if I pull out the wrong tool. Uh, like this. Can I find it? I know I should have one. Like, right here-ish? Yeah. Like, there. I should have a burrweed. I'm gonna see... <gasps> I can get it to show up! There we go! I was gonna say, it's like... I'm having a hard time finding my, uh, or finding enough stems nearby to just get this wrapped up. But for some reason, I'm experiencing, yeah, a little graphical glitch where those stems are invisible. Luckily, it is not actually a problem. What is a problem is that I'm starving at the moment. So let's throw that stuff in there. And, uh... Unless I see a handy aphid. We'll just have to go grab a meal out of the uh, cookery. And but there's an aphid. Perfect. Mm. Not bad. Again, if there was if there was just like a way I could even just roast up a bunch of uh Red ant or a fire ants, and I'd be set. Where you going, dude? 
What do you think you're doing? All right. Um, okay, I should be able to now finish the cookery. There we go. So now this main space, especially a bit if I hug this wall. Yeah. It's like this main space is more or less three coziness. Um, if I, um, I bet if I put some more lights around, we could, uh, more consistently get it to be three throughout. Um, it is just a little bit funny to me. Like, again, depending on just where I stand, it'll change considerably. Um, so yeah, like it'll be there. How, like, are we even close to four? Oh, oh, we went down. I mean, we're at, we're at a good three and a half, so, um, you know, we're doing pretty well. Um, I think actually if I kind of come right between the house and our storage area, that's actually where I get the best coziness. Um, I think all of our different storage options in our, um, uh, in our storage building help. Oh. And then getting a little bit close to that building helps with all of the ovens as well. All right, well, we're so close to actually pushing this all the way to level four. I am curious if we can just build those last um, couple things we need. Oh, one other thing that I saw uh, earlier, I forgot to mention. There's a couple different kinds of stairs that I didn't even realize. Like, we could have acorn stairs out front that don't have the mushrooms on the side, and it would match everything better. Um, or you could get all mushroom stairs if you didn't want the acorn steps for it to match better. I didn't realize that was a thing, and that's so cool. Um, anyway. I, I didn't realize that until recently. Um... But yeah, for a couple of our new things, um, also, what do the awnings look like? Uh, that's kind of cool. Gotcha, so we can just kind of, like, extend that out? We could actually, like put an awning and extend our porch if we really wanted to at some point. Um, that's nifty. Um, oh my gosh. Alright, so where is that newest stuff that we just unlocked? We got, um, got, we got, we got, oh, that's all of our chairs. Uh, oh, we got a new shelf. We got the Koi Scale shelf. Uh, that looks pretty slick, actually. Uh, we got the trash can. Okay, we actually, we need to go put some of these things in. Hold up. Trash can. Uh, definitely need one of those. Uh, We'll, we'll throw that, like, right there. And we need some koi shelves in here. Um. Um. Is that gonna be too in the way if we have those, like, right there? Maybe... Maybe I move the candle over, or we just put it... This is our little... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We put it right above the chair. But you can do an angled one. That's so cool. All right, so we just need a bit of web fiber, scales, bones, acorn, dry grass. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can get this done. I'm curious. Does the trash can... 
work as storage? Okay, it does. So that's actually just... That's actually a really good storage thing. Like, it's... It's a pretty compact amount of storage if it doesn't actually ever throw things away. I'm curious if it will ever throw things away. Like, maybe every night it empties? So, we're just dumping a bunch- no, not our- not our nice axe. Um, we're gonna dump a bunch of fire ant parts in here and see what happens. Um, but yeah, there's our- there's our koi scale shelf. Maybe... No, no, you're not attacking my house. Um, all right, uh, it is a bit cramped in that corner. What if we do put it above the table after all? I can put it there, kind of center it. It's not quite centered like on the wall beams, but it's centered above the table, which I think is nice. Um, and then we could scoot the chair back into the corner again a little bit better. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I think I think this is all kind of coming together nicely. Again, I, I would like some better lighting options. Um, because again, if we could get like a standing lamp that's as nice as our wasp uh, kind of desk lamp there, that would be, that would be killer. Get out of here, belly hog, you're gonna attract the ants! Yes, those ants! Alright, folks, I, uh, I went on a little expedition. And we can complete our, our little front porch decor now. Now, I, I don't want to hurt it, but... Okay, I think I did. I I hurt the the the, the stuff I behind it. Right about now. But that is cool. Yeah. Okay, that just makes me happy. Does this hurt me? Okay, cool. <laughs> that looks so good, too. We're gonna have to make a bunch of these. I love it. Now, if I come in, we're gonna get to four. It's gonna be close. If I move stuff, we definitely will. But, I bet, I could also, I could try coming right here. Super cozy. Super cozy, there we go! Picture frame, pine, co pine cone roofs, there we go. I, I had thought that they were adding that, and we finally got them. Pine cone shelves, and a burr partition. I don't really care about the partition that much. Um, but pine cone roofs, um, I think that deserves a celebratory soak because guess what? We actually have enough charcoal because I did go on our little charcoal run, uh, to do that. Wait, what other pieces did I need real quick? Uh, pine cone clay and rope. Okay. Right, 
Right, so here we go, and boom! We got a hot tub. Okay, from a certain, from this angle, that looks like, like, black. Um. Ah. There we go. Enjoy it, Pete. Oh, he's, he's chilling. I like it. So, we're gonna have to, um, we could set up, honestly, in this little area. I am curious on if we can, like, prevent food from spawning. Um. By. Uh. Wait, customize? Oh! <gasps> We can make the hot tub different colors! Oh my gosh, that just got so much more fun! So I guess like only- I'm guessing that probably only happens at night? So if I just sit in this, like without properly sitting in it, do I still get the buff? Um, but if I soak... If I soak, I get the buff. Okay. Um, interesting. All right. So, what I'm curious about, again, I'm I'm doing the whole I get too distracted thing. If I leave this more or less where our that that food always spawns over here, can I block the food from spawning? And will that help with our ant problem? I have no idea, but I kind of want to try it. Um, well, there we go. We got to level four cozy. I I think that there's five levels. Again, if I... Yeah, we, we've still got a progress bar, so we've still got room to go. Uh, I guess, I guess, again, I, we, we, we're, we're going so long. If you guys knew how long that I'd actually been recording right now, um, ugh, I, I have my work cut out for me in editing um, because, oh boy, um, but anyway, okay, so this doesn't still quite get us all the way up to level five, even if we're chilling in the hot tub, like, in our, in our sweet spot. Um, that's all right. All right, so I'll, I'll put this back in our, in our experiment spot, and we'll see if we can block the food spawn. If so, we should kind of, like, transform this area into a little, like, fun backyard, um, and, uh, we can, uh, what were my thoughts on this? Um, obviously we have the hot tub, uh, we should put more of our little braziers out here, um, we'll, we'll obviously, like, flatten some of the ground to make that look nice, um, and, uh, yeah, basketball hoop. Uh, we definitely need to put like a basketball hoop. We could even just have like a bounce web for fun. Um, there, there definitely are like practical uses for bounce webs in this game, but we could just have one out here for fun just to purely use as a trampoline. Um, and uh, oh, right now he's attracted to the food that's on the ground. No, bad. Go away, ant. Um, but yeah, we could do that stuff and then also start, uh, finally, a little bit of a garden. Um, so we have these garden patches that we can make. Um, and the reason I haven't really been too worried about it so far is like, uh, up until now, like, the most helpful thing we could grow is actually shown right here, and it's mushrooms. Um, you don't have to grow just little ones, you can grow big ones too. Um, but, you know, we've got a giant mushroom patch just down the hill, so that's not the most helpful. Um, so we can grow that, we can grow some sprigs, we've got also sprigs, like, growing just right here, too. Uh, like, a bunch right here. Um, a few more elsewhere, kind of scattered around our little area, and like the rate of return on the sprigs, as far as I know, just really isn't that great. Um, so like there just hasn't been much that I've been all that interested in, 
uh, for using the garden patch. But with this latest update, you can actually finally grow muscle sprouts in garden patches. So instead of having to go down to the pond lab um, regularly to go get our uh, to get our our, our our muscle sprouts, we can just set up a garden here and grow our own. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to I'm going to test this out for a little bit, um, you know, chill in our hot tub see if uh, if we can properly block the block the food spawn uh, so that hopefully we can prevent a little bit of the ant traffic through here and um, if so this will this will become our new garden and that should also um, by enhancing this area some more um, help improve the coziness of this whole area that might kind of pull our optimal coziness spot somewhere like right around here um or again it's like we're already at level like four and a quarter four and a third or so um so we can't be too terribly far off from level five and and finishing that out um so uh so yeah that that will ideally be the plan um also just to give you guys a heads up um I may or may not have mentioned this on the last Small Land episode, um, but um, I, I definitely didn't go in the full details of it, but um, I actually finally, uh, in real life, just got a house, not only just here in Grounded, and uh, so we are uh, gonna be moving house in real life here pretty soon and so that is gonna make my kind of recording schedule get a little bit hectic um, I'm still gonna be trying to get my my uploads out in about as much of a normal time as I can um, but it might mean that I have to do a little bit more kind of advanced recording just to make sure that I can stay on top of things as um, kind of the moving day approaches and obviously that will kind of disrupt my whole setup for a little while. Um, so uh, just to kind of give you guys a little bit of a heads up, um, for those of you who stick around to the end of these, uh, you know, especially extra long videos like this one, um, uh, things might be just kind of a little bit different with some of the videos. I may not be able to kind of get some of your um, feedback uh, like I normally like to, um, between episodes, um, just because I may have to record kind of a few of these at a time. Um, but, uh, so with all that being said, probably over the course of the next few grounded episodes, we will try Don't to, um, uh, get this garden plan in action. Um, I want to do that. Uh, I've mentioned several times uh, over in this area, I want to make a big um, kind of armor hall slash trophy hall where we can make a bunch of the uh, a bunch of the kind of uh, head mounts um, and maybe a few stuffed bugs as well. Um, and then we most definitely need to progress the main story some more. Um, it has now been a good while um, since we we did get any progress going and uh, you know I'm, I'm getting a little bit tired of these three exclamation points uh, constantly yelling at me and so I think here before too long we need to set up some defenses and uh, give this thing a whirl um, so Again, I have no idea which of these might be next. I might be kind of just like recording all of these different episodes and throwing them at you. Um, they even might be a little bit out of order just depending on th how things go um, with a little bit of my crazy recording schedule and personal schedule over the next kind of month or two. So, um, oh, well, hmm, there is our answer. That is unfortunate. Um, all right, well, so much for the, uh, blocking off the food spawn with an item idea. Um, 
I might do a little bit of research on that just to see if there are in fact any other methods that we could implement um, to kind of block off the food spawn. Um, again, the biggest reason I want to do that is not so much that I hate having the food here. It's actually kind of nice. Um, but it does just, I, th I think that really does drive the ant traffic. And if we could keep it from happening, um, that might uh, help reduce the ants uh, from walking through quite so much. Because I, I just really have had to deal with them a lot. And while it's not difficult, it does just... Um, it, it can be a little bit inconvenient when I'm trying to get work done uh, around the house and I'm constantly having to pull out my, uh, my mace and, uh, you know, deal with the problem just like this. So, um, otherwise, maybe it's finally time to also start building walls around the compound. Um, who knows? Maybe that's yet a fourth project that we'll need to get to um, here relatively soon. So, anyway, um... I've been yakking for way too long. This episode has already gotten way out of hand in length for at least me recording wise. So, um, yeah, uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. Um, I know we did a lot of just kind of running around grabbing materials, but we did make a lot of progress here on getting our coziness up, um, getting all the way up to level four, uh, plus a little bit more, um, and uh, we've got this nice hot tub as our reward. Um, and Pete looks quite happy with that. So um, anyway, if you guys did enjoy the episode, please be sure to leave a like. It definitely helps me out and helps more people to discover the videos. Um, otherwise, make sure that you are all, are all subscribed so that you can be sure to catch all of those various episodes that I've been describing for the last several minutes. And um, other than that, um, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I will see you all again very soon with some more Grounded. See ya!